Well, thanks for joining me. I thought I'd do some light world building on my hex map for my ongoing D&D campaign. It's late night. I'm not keen to go to sleep yet. And uh, I've got some world building to do. So I thought you could join me. As you see, we're in an area right now called the Buckland. This is my own homebrew world. Um, it pans out quite a bit. It is not all completely done. And uh, as I often tell the players in my game, just because some parts of the map are quite filled out doesn't mean they're completely filled out. A lot of this is to inspire, not to uh, uh, fence in either me as the dungeon master or the players if I'm using this to uh, give them some flavor or some, you know, verisimilitude. A lot of this, having a map, is because it helps me. I like to know where things are. And sometimes, as I'm world building, I come up with cool ideas, something that could be used in a game. So, case in point, this is the Buckland. Um, it's a cold place at the north of this territory, which is an empire. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of pine forests, hills. This is a lake right here. The specific area involves these two settlements. If you haven't world built before, if you haven't world built before you, a good way to start is one town, or one village. In this case, I have one town and one village. Now, for the purpose of my game, I have four players. And they've been at this town. They've done some adventures around this lake that froze over. Um, and now they're moving towards New Ridge. Uh, which is currently... Uh, from what they know... Well, actually, they don't know yet. But it's on their way to an abandoned castle. In this case, in this case Heather Sage. Heather Sage... Um, was the dwelling place for some kobolds that has now been overrun by goblins. What they don't know is by the time they arrive at New Ridge, New Ridge will be under siege by the goblins, or essentially taken hostage. But I'm interested in maybe populating some of these mountains, and especially this part to the east, which is very empty. Each hex is one day's travel. Um, if it's normal terrain. That's at least how I've been thinking about it. There are some rules about overland travel when it's difficult terrain. Maybe uh, I'd have to look up the rules, but maybe that means it takes two days to travel one hex if it's difficult terrain. Difficult terrain may, may be like, you know, cold mountains, swamp, um, maybe just mountains if there's no roads. You know, that's sort of the flavor you can add yourself. So what specifically do you want to do today? As you see this terrain tiles here, I'm going to be using features. And I've already favorited some of mine, most of them which come from the classic package. Um, all of this comes pre-installed on this program. Uh, but it is a free service, it, it can be paid. Uh, the reason why my map is so huge, as you can see up here, um, it's got so much blank tiles is because you can't enlarge the tiles or transpose your map onto a new map um, if you don't pay for the service. I don't have the money for that right now. So, this is what I'm doing for now. I've, I've given myself a lot of space because I need to expand outwards. Um, so, what we've got here currently is we've got New Old Port and New Ridge. The Buckland is a wild area, an area where I keep telling my players, I think it's a fun place to start an adventure because it is a place where action matters more than word, it's a dangerous place, death is a constant companion to the people living there, so they don't really care where you come from or who you were, they care about who you are and what you're doing, if you can help, if you can hunt, if you can scavenge, if you can, uh, uh, you know, 
dungeoneer, if you can spelunk in caves, or if you can explore ruins and sell the loot, you've got a place. So it's a fun place to play an adventure. It's also on the edge of an empire. So it's, uh, you know, it's got a lot of potential for tie-ins, and your adventurers can come from a lot of these towns. In fact, uh, most of the adventurers in my game come from some towns around here. One of them comes from Blackburn. One of them comes uh, a ways down here. Might be Whitechapel. I don't... It might. I might have not put it on the map yet. Uh, just so it gives you a bit of... Because like, obviously this doesn't look like much. Uh, this is a map I made of the area. So the Buckland's just up here. Uh, and just... You know, I like doing hand-drawn maps. But honestly, this is here. So you don't have to. I just like because that means I can... I just like doing it because it means I can print it out. But there's plenty of map generators online that you can generate before... You know, you can generate first and then build into. So generate the map. Uh, and then you fill in the details. Uh, I did it the wrong way around to do that. But again, if you just start with two towns and then you build a map, you can just place those towns wherever you want to. But I'm getting off track of what I'm here for. So Heather Sage is an abandoned ruin castle, and uh, it's currently uh, under the control of some goblins. Steamforge camp, I've called it Steamforge because I like the idea of, even though it's cold area, as you can see, um, it has hot springs and steam vents. So maybe they, I think the fact that it's, uh, I used some randomly generated names and uh, uh, got one that steam and got one that had forge and that gave me the idea that maybe uh, they use some of the uh, you know hot magma uh, to as, as heat sources for their forges because it is the camp of a outlaw bandit lord um, specifically uh, I don't remember his name I can pull it up oh that's the wrong word document uh, here we are. I've got some of my character details here. But of Baron Uthrak, the Black Prince of Bandits. Took this from uh, an MCDM product. If you don't know MCDM, I'll put their uh, store page and YouTube channel below. It's Matt Koval's, uh project. I recommend it. They do good stuff. But essentially, he's a... Uh, was a bandit who accrued enough wealth and prestige to be made a baron and then got exiled, uh, but he kept the name. So he's on exile from the Empire and he is currently set up camp here. The players have encountered some of his patrols, but they haven't encountered him and they haven't encountered the camp. But it's close by, so it will probably be relevant at some point. While a wolf is something that... I came up with later. I think it's an abandoned town. Because I like the idea that as you're on the edge of an empire, you know, um, a lot of the indie games work with the assumption that a lot of fantasy, uh, TTRPGs, tabletop role-playing games, work with the assumption that there was once a greater empire or a greater nation or greater civilization. And that's whose ruins you're exploring. That's where you get the relics from and the magic items from. So I like to put that into the game. There's always got to be ruins somewhere. Um, so Wild Wolf is one of those. It's an abandoned town or abandoned village. Uh, it's uh, on in the swamps by the lake, so I like to think that it's sort of um, underwater or somewhat submerged. Um, I don't know, maybe it's haunted. Uh, that hasn't come up yet. I see. Bakre, is how I'm choosing to pronounce this, is... I just don't know what it is. Um, I'm happy with it being sort of a maybe orc stronghold or maybe it's a hobgoblin stronghold it doesn't necessarily have to be villainous but it could be um they're definitely isolated they definitely don't like outsiders um and they're probably you know they're probably fighting against something or maybe they have recently moved there from somewhere maybe they've made a long track across the mountains to back way. maybe they were forced out of uh, maybe there were nomadic tribes of uh maybe there were orc nomadic tribes around here i even have a place called orkinia with that in mind, that that was once an orc settlement. So maybe it's a long nomadic, uh, you know, traversal that has arrived at this 
once abandoned fortress, once abandoned wall or keep that they've built up again. I like that idea. I think I'll keep that. Uh, Cloud Spire is, I think, probably I like the idea of it being, you know, standing above the peaks, above the tower, the uh, clouds. Ergo, Cloud Spire. So I like the idea that it's uh, maybe a mage tower. Maybe it's a secret recluse for a, a specific secret order. Um, but I like the idea of it being maybe a very isolated mage. Maybe a villain, maybe a. You know, maybe it's. Again, maybe it's been abandoned, but now recently has new uh, occupiers. I like the idea that it has something to do with the um, Great Lake. I have the Great Lake here. Um, has something to do with, you know, guarding something here. Maybe it's the, um, maybe these waters are incredibly chatterous. Maybe we could even put that as terrain. We'll make it deep water. Uh, do I have favorites here? I do. Uh, but maybe there's a different type of water I can use. Uh, reefs, yeah, maybe it's, you know, I don't love that coloring. I can make it darker. Uh, a right color. Let's make it... Oh, no. Let's forget it. I'm colorblind. It's just going to be a mess. I'm probably not going to even make it blue. So I'm going to say, like, maybe that's reefs. Or maybe one of these are reefs. And the other one is very deep water. You know, because obviously this is a day's travel across. Oh, like, really deep. Ah, doesn't look very good. Um... Yeah. Uh, maybe I like that colouring more, but we could say it has reefs. Could be maybe there's something here. Um and it's impossible to uh traverse from here by boats. Maybe you you know, maybe the whole thing is like magically guarded. Uh it doesn't have to be a four days traverse, or maybe it's just the coastline around it that is incredibly rock and reef infested. Maybe there's some sea monsters. Um, and the only way across of it is through a portal that's connected to something here, through Cloudspire. Maybe there's a, a bridge in the clouds. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Maybe this peak is also tall enough. There's a bridge in the clouds. I like that a lot. Um, let's put something on this mountain, though. So, what could be there? Maybe there's a church? Maybe there's a temple? It could be a shrine. That's true. It could be a shrine. Um, I will make it so I can place freely, so I can, uh, I just don't want, I, I want to see that it's a peak, that it's a, I'll do it like that, or something. I just want to be able to see that it's a mountain, but we want to give it a name. Um, so maybe there's a shrine up there. Um, it could be a lighthouse. I think the lighthouse, actually, I think the lighthouse would be here. Um so that ships know not to go in there, you know. And we'd call it like the, uh, let me select one of my other buildings so it creates the preset, just Book Antigua. Looks like a book, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, we'd call it, you know, the warning, the warning, I mean, the warning light is not a bad one either, but, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the name of this mountain or this last island. Maybe this island is particularly um, fruitful. So maybe it'd be a lighthouse named after the island. So maybe it's, uh, you know, let's find out, you know. Random spell, random island name generator. Giving me ads. Uh, the Light Isle, Southern Reef. Piranha Island, Dunkard, Kuzale, Ingeburn. Ooh, Spanish names, no. <laughs> We're doing uh, an English speaking game, at least this time. Uh, Summer Shore Isle. Brookshore, I like Summer Shore. I mean, that's because it's just 
two words put together. Ooh, Iron Moor. The Iron Isle. No. Maybe something with iron, and that implies, you know, maybe there's iron deposits there. Maybe they build a settlement there. The Ugly Peninsula. Um. You know what? I have an idea. Rogue? Maybe something with rogue. If it's something like rogue, that implies a different sort of relationship with the island. So... Maybe it's like the Rogue Man's Isle. I like that. Let's do Rogue Man's, but it's spelled like this cool way. Rogue. Rogue Man's. Rogue Man's Watch. I like that. Rogue Man's Watch. Let's make it smaller. And let's give it a space so it shows up underneath. And, uh, you know, make it. 15. How's that look? Oh, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Oof, that's a loud noise. I'm going to get rid of the outline. Oh, but this is so small. Yeah, I'll keep it just so it's more visible. This isn't pretty, but it's more visible. So, Rogerman's Watch. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to make it so that there's a camp there. Or, you know, there's like a village. Um, yeah. It's going to be called Rogman's Haven. Can we make it so it's above? I would like if, it, if we can make it for it to be above. Doesn't seem to be the case. So, uh, we'll settle with that. Point being, my idea is that uh, maybe, you know, there's a there's a pirate haven or a smuggler's haven. You know, maybe they smuggle from here to here. Um, and whenever, you know, maybe fleets at certain points of uh, civilized, more lawful uh, nations have tried to kick them out of here, they've managed to traverse these reefs. Maybe they're the... Um, few people who know a passage through the reefs. I like that idea a lot. Maybe they know a way through the sea monsters. Maybe they know what offerings to make. Maybe there's a secret ritual they have to make before they enter the reefs. Fantastic world building potential. I think that's really, really fun. So, you know, already by asking these questions of like one day's travel, we're able to develop a lot. So what's on this island? Why would anyone want to get there? Would anyone want to get there? Maybe there's a secret there. Maybe uh, characters could find it in a book somewhere. Maybe there's a shrine. I do like the idea of there being a shrine. Um, or a church. Obviously, these are cool. You know, these are like dolmens. I mean, it's implied there's a, there's a dock there. Um, let's keep a shrine for now. That can always change. What would be the shrine? Let's see, you know. Let's uh, do it again. Random shrine generator. D &D. And maybe it can even tell you the god. Temple names. Hmm. Something on Reddit, maybe? Well, let's roll a d20. It's a six. Uh, I wouldn't want it to be the goddess of uh, gotcha. So let's look at the ones just above and just below. God of murder. Wow, would there be a god of murder there? Maybe the god of lies? Oof. Misfortune. Maybe there's a secret temple to the god of wizards. That would be cool. That would be cool, actually. And that would make sense why there would be um, 
So let's say there's a temple to Az uh, Azuth. I thought you would pronounce them. Let's look at the wiki. Let's say the Nova K magic. So maybe there's a, you know, a lot of spells. That's really cool. So maybe there's a... Um, hmm, maybe that's why there's a connection between Cloud Spire and that tower. So does he have any names? Patron of Mages. The First Magister. Hand of Sorcery. The Lord of Spells, the Hand of Sorcery, the High One Shrine. Hmm. Well, let's look at the temple fantasy names that we had. The Bright Shrine is cool. Maybe the high shrine, because he's the high one. But knowing D and D players, they might find that very funny. Um, I've been playing enough to know. The sanguine tomb, Oof, not for him. What was his name? Azuth. Maybe it's just Azuth. Like maybe it's like the pantheon of Azuth, the pagoda. Maybe there's something, like, so maybe, maybe there's like a seat there, maybe there's a throne, maybe there's a library. That's cool. Actually, maybe there's a library. MCDM similarly in their Arcadia magazine, they had a monthly or, yeah, they had a monthly, I think. I think it was monthly um, publication uh, for D&D 5th edition um, supplements. And not the vitamins, but the um, modules. And they had a, uh, uh, you know, a location called the Chained Library. And I can't remember if it moved around. But you know what? Let's just say the Chained Library is there. And it's just really difficult to get to. The Chained Library is a place that collects all knowledge. You know, all, it's like, you know, national libraries in real life have a copy of every book printed in that country or in that language something like that the chained library has a copy of everything ever written or something like that I don't recall exactly let's make it a bit bigger let's put it on 20 again I want to be able to see that it's a if I do it like this I swear you can have an icon that's a mountain. Can you? If I put mountain... Will I get something? Yes, I will. Okay. Is there a... Mm, how does that look? Oh my god. I mean, that's not uncool, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. So if I delete that. Changes a bit of the style. What if I do that? Maybe it's a huge mountain, you know. It's, you know, it's cool. It's, uh... It's cool. <laughs> but if I take away the style and... Would that... I could essentially paint over it like that. It's not... Nah, it's not very... I don't like that very much. That's cool. We'll keep it like that. Point B, maybe the chain library is inside the mountain. That's pretty cool. No, it's, it's even a hidden from view. Only the ones who know is there is there. I like that a lot. So now we've, you know, we've developed, you know, that's, this is already a, an adventure right there. You know, that's already an adventure. Whether it starts from Cloud Spire, maybe it starts from Cloud Spire and then they have to flee through the reefs. Um, you know, maybe there's a deal between the caretakers of the chain library and the, some of the uh, castaways, the deserters or the outlaws at Rogue Man's Haven. In any case, maybe there's, you know, these people have to be smuggling from somewhere. So they could be smuggling from Orkinia, but I suspect there's closer little hamlets or villages. So maybe there's one over here. Maybe there's one over here. 
Yeah, I think so. So let's find our town, like little little village icon. Let's give it a name. Random uh, village name generator. Town names, that works. Wolf water. That's already caught by the water. Maybe there's a specific correlation with Burnmouth is a real place. Burnmouth, Burnmouth. Not try to pronounce it. Not Bermuth, Bermuth, which is a drink. Um, Sutton. Wolf water is pretty cool. Hmm. trying to think what would be something fantastical because I like to give towns you know sometimes it's cool to give them one thing that's weird or fantastical so what would be unique about this town what would make it unique you know besides it having these roots smuggling roots what would be cool about this town that could have it spring up right there maybe it has I'll, I'll, I'll brainstorm Maybe it has a magic well. Maybe it has permanent shadow. Maybe it's always covered in mist. So boats can sneak in and out. Maybe the mountains next to it are riddled with caves. So people can always run away if the authorities showed up. If, if ever a, a boat came to try and prevent their activities. I like that idea. Maybe there's an entrance to the Underdark. There. Ooh. You know. Yeah. So maybe it's not something water. Maybe it's, you know, something dark. Dark hollow. Or dark mouth. Um, and maybe, you know, this is this is in water. This is shallows, wetlands. So maybe it's, um, maybe the entrance in the mountain. Um. Maybe, you know, maybe the water actually flows into the Underdark. Maybe there's some waterfalls that flow into the Underdark from the Great Lake and some of these um, shallows here. So maybe it's, uh, maybe the entrance to the Underdark is you have to swim. Excuse me, yawning. So maybe it's, uh, you know, the Underfalls or the... Um, Shallow mouth, shallow den. Let's get some more inspiration with that in mind. I like that idea. My mouth, Shipton. dark well. It's cool. Pool, maybe something with pool. Black pool, I think, is a place. Or maybe it just could be one of them like Lindau, Hornsey, Storford. These are kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. So there may be a more exciting one. But there's not going to be fantasy, is it? Yeah, it's not going to be fantasy. Fantasy. What about Don John? Oh, this is not Don John, this is a different one. Kolu, that's cute. Ropa. Dre banner. Dre banner is cool. Drayden. Drakar. What about bay? Something bay. Because there's a bay here. Like. Drakar bay. Maybe because the drow are from the Underdark. Maybe it's Drowmouth 
<laughs> Dry mouth. No, no. Drow Falls. Drow Falls Bay. No. I mean, it could just be Smuggler's Bay. I'm probably thinking about this way too much. Uh, let's just call it, for now, Drakar Bay. Well, maybe that would be the bay. Drake, Drakar. Drakar. I think that's cool. Let's move it up to 25 again. 5. Drakar. And we have all these ideas about, you know, it'd be the entrance to the Underdark, Smuggler's Den, maybe it's like permanently in mist. I like all of these ideas. I think these are all really cool. You know, that connection. Um, there's all this space here. Let's make this a bit more... There was a way I could... Oh yeah, here's the transparency. I don't remember how to make it more transparent. That's fine. It can, you know, remain like that. Maybe we'll make it place freely so we can. Like that. Gives us a bit more space. More. It seems more comfortable to be like that. Because Buckland is the whole area. So Drakar. And maybe these mountains are specifically uninhabited. Maybe there's a camp around there. Hmm. Oh, this is marshland. Obviously, this doesn't have to be. I could play around with the terrain. Th this all being marsh seems a bit much to me. So let's, let's play with that right now. Maybe these areas are hilly. And I will have some mountains next to the water. I think that's cool. One of them can be forested. I think they're probably forested as well. the forest gets heavy there. That's an idea. Maybe this is a particularly barren rock. Um, I like the idea that maybe there's more pirate things going on here. Because it would make what I zoomed out a lot. Because it would make sense that you know, among the smugglers area, these islands probably wouldn't be inhabited. So maybe this island. Oh my god, <laughs> it's too inverted. Hmm. Or maybe one of maybe one of these islands, you know, was they built a keep to try and you know push these off, but they failed. Now, maybe it's a ruin to keep. Now, maybe it's an abandoned keep. I don't know, but the lighthouse there is probably, like, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's things to look out for. Let's make it so there's a town there as well. Or oh, a village. Maybe that's a maybe it's you know maybe it's a hamlet. Maybe it's very small. It's just a fishing town. We'll call it fishing town. Uh, let's see. We'll call it Looney. She Shell Island. That's cute. Lycia. Lycia. I like Lycia. Is that how they spelled it? Yeah. Lysia. I think that's cute. Let's make Lysia 20. And I'll make a... I want to make... Can I make this a... 
anchor smaller. Oh, that's so tiny. I mean, it, it, it stands to reason that it would have a thing. Uh, it doesn't need to be there. Let's give this island a bit of character. What does it have? Maybe it has. Maybe this one does have a shrine. You know, I'm gonna call it. Is there one of these? Um, you know, God of Thieves. Maybe there's a shrine there to fishermen and thieves, smugglers. Yeah, I like the idea. And so, you know, the masked shrine. And maybe there's a play there where it's a um, shrine to mask, but it's masked as a shrine to sailors. That could be something cool. Oh, you know what? I think we'll just place it like that. Something like that. Hmm. Just put shrine to mask, honestly. Shrine to mask. So I think we might stop there for now. Honestly, I'm quite happy with what we've done. You know, we've created this idea that there's a connection here, whether it's a cloud bridge or it's a teleporter, a teleportation circle, maybe. We know where the chain library is now. Uh, we know something about this area, Vrogman's Haven. We've created a cool location here. Um, Lycia is a place where characters could start. Maybe characters are from Lycia, so they know about these places. Drakar is maybe an entrance to the Underdark. It's a smuggler's den. It's, uh, you know, maybe where people go to get to the north without crossing the mountains um, if they're wanted in other places. I think that's really cool. Um, might do this again. Might resume here or might start somewhere else next time. Thank you.